Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator. I'm an old guy gaming. It's December 3rd and it's snowing outside. Uh, we are uh, loading up our silage bales so that we can then once again unload them into the storage. I don't actually need to do this because we're going to actually turn around and just sell these things tomorrow. Whoops. But I'm mostly doing it just to, to see what it looks like once it's filled up. <clears throat> but... You know, keeping in mind, you know, that January is the best time to sell silage. After this sale that we do in January, you know, then we're going to have to start storing the bales up for the whole next year. So that's, at that point, that's when we're going to uh, do this, you know, for each of the three or four hay cuttings that we'll get. Um, so we're going to do this, and then we're going to also load up our produce and you know make that sale and that'll make should make us another nine grand or so and then tomorrow uh, we will sell uh, the silage and hopefully make a you know decent little profit off of it so yeah it is winter time uh, the snow will not accumulate uh, today but it might um, it might tomorrow last year it didn't actually start accumulating until like late January, <clears throat> but that's not necessarily going to be exactly what's going to happen this year. So we'll just have to wait and see what it does. But let's get these loaded up and then we'll get them into our, our bale storage again, just to see what it looks like. I'm not, uh, we don't technically need to do this, but we're going to do it just for funsies. Okay, so now what we'll what we'll do throughout the the year is we'll you know we'll do our, our silage and then we'll come in here and then we offload into this section and then it'll put it into the the storage pile. I believe that's how it works. So let's back the trailer up here so it's in the loading area. That should be good enough. Okay, let's go ahead and offload now and see what happens here. There it goes. Look at that. We might um, we might have to get another one of these. Uh, in fact, we definitely will need to get another one of these. Maybe even two more of these to store a whole year's worth of, of silage. I mean, if we added that other pile to this, which I'm not going to do, because we're going to end up selling it tomorrow, um, but I am going to load it on the trailer. Uh, that's actually not very much space. You know, I think I saw on the Mod Hub, I think I saw another mod very similar to this, but with larger storage. So I might look into that, but I think if I remember right, it also cost 50 grand, whereas this one was only 10 grand. So yeah, we'll have to we'll have to play that one by ear, I guess. But it, it looks to me like I mean, assuming we w didn't expand our fields, which we are definitely going to do, it looks to me like we could probably get almost two cuttings in one storage. Which, if the, if that's the case, then one extra storage would probably work for us. But of course, it's not going to work for us as we continue to expand our farm. So. That's the thing we have to take into account. Pretty cool though. All right, well, let's get these bales loaded up. And then what I'm gonna actually do is, uh, well, no, we'll just load these and then we'll let them sit there. And then tomorrow we'll load the, we'll unload them from the storage and get the rest of them on the trailer. And of course, it's gonna take us a couple of trips to get all of these, which is fine to sell them. So let me finish getting uh, this all done, and then I'm going to load up our produce, and then once that's done, I'll bring you guys back, and we'll go sell it, uh, get that done, and then we'll probably sleep until January 1st, um, and then sell our silage. Because other than that, there's nothing else for me really to do. There's no contracts at, at the moment. Um, oh, you know what? We, need, we do need to look at the chickens, too. I haven't looked at those yet. But I'm not expecting necessarily a lot from the chickens at this point yet. They're still, uh, we still need to give them a little more time before they're at full production. 
Uh, we do have to look at their food, though, actually, now that I think about it. And speaking of that sort of thing, uh, our fertilizer is actually lasting quite some time. If we go look at our production, um, you know, it's only used, what, maybe 20%? if even that, for an entire month. So that would seem to suggest that we can go, you know, four or five months before we have to refill the fertilizer. Um, so that's good to know. Definitely good to know. All right, cool. So what I'm gonna actually do with this trailer is I'm gonna park it right here because when we offload from that bale storage, it's gonna throw everything right there and then we just pull forward and pick them up. Um, so let's just fold that up for now and we'll hop off and disconnect all that stuff. Excellent. Okay, so um, I guess the, actually the next, ooh, just about right into my greenhouse there. I guess the next thing we need to figure out is, can we bring everything all to the same place again like we did last month at the bully down the or do we need to do separate? Because if we got if we have to do separate places, I don't want to load all, all of it up together. So let's take a look at that. So we are going to here, and we're looking at lettuce. So the best price on lettuce is Mama Joe's. Okay, what about tomatoes? Best price on tomatoes is either Johnson's or the grocery store. And the best price on strawberries, 258, 265, 273 Johnson's. Okay, so we'll load tomatoes and strawberries together and take those up to Johnson's, but we need we'll take lettuce uh, to Mama Joe's. Excellent. All right. So let's get the lettuce loaded up first. Oh, I was gonna look at the chickens too. Let's do that real quick. So yeah, we do have we do have a few more eggs here, but I kind of want to wait until we have a full pallet before we before we sell those. Let's actually look at the progress of the chickens. So we have uh, we have 120 chickens, which we put in there, and it looks like it's going to take them another month before they will have new chickens. We are pretty low on grain though. Productivity's at 100%, so that's good. Health is at 100%. So, yeah, we're going to need to get some more grain. Uh, you know, it's too bad we couldn't feed them oats. I mean, you would think chickens would eat oats in real life, and they probably do. <laughs> um, we could have just saved some of our oats to feed these guys because we didn't make any money off the doggone things. But anyway, yeah, we're going to have to we're gonna have to pick up some more wheat at the store um, for those guys, too, before we... We'll probably do that at the end of today before we sleep into January because we don't want our chickens to run out of food, of course. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave the tractor running with the lights on because it's really dark out here. And let's get the lettuce loaded up. We'll take those over to Mama Joe's, sell those, and then we'll do the tomatoes and strawberries at Johnson's. All right, let's run these over to Mama Joe. While that's going on, let's look at the prices again. Um, lettuce. So we're in December, so January uh, we're gonna make even more money off them, which is great. Okay, so we made thirty-two forty-nine off of the the what six pallets of lettuce. Very nice. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go back over get all the tomatoes and strawberries loaded up on the on the trailer, and when I'm finished with that, I'll bring you back. We'll head out to Johnson's and sell those, and then go from there. All right, guys, we are back, and I just uh, finished loading up the uh, trailer here. Let's go park our forklift, and then uh, it's 8.54, so we need to get over to Johnson's before 9, uh, before the prices change. Well, let's get, get it on over there. I can't believe how long the battery's lasting on this forklift. It's great, though.
Okay, everything's all strapped up. Okay, let's go over to Johnson's and get this stuff sold. All right, let's just double check again that this is the best price. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, so let's see, we're doing tomatoes and strawberries, five, yeah, five, four, oh, gross. Oh, look at that grocery bar. Did I misread that or did these prices change more frequently than the top of the hour? Because they're now given 541. Okay, what about the strawberries? Johnson's is 274. So Johnson is still definitely the best on the strawberries. Well, I'm not uh I'm not gonna re reload these now, so we're just gonna we're gonna sell them as is. It's not gonna make that much difference. It's only a dollar difference. Okay. Look at that money going up. Yeah, baby. All right, cool. So let's see. That puts us at, we are in December. Nice. We made over $10,000. Um, the most money we've made so far on our produce, as you can see here, looking at the past few months. And next month, it's going to be even better, which is fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, cool. So let's head on back to the farm. And I think we are done for... December 3rd. So what we're going to do is sleep until January 1st, tomorrow. And then we are going to sell our silage. So I will see you guys tomorrow morning. And we'll go um, get that silage sold and hopefully we'll, we'll make a decent little profit off of that. I'm expecting more than we made off the oats anyways. <laughs> So yeah, we'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, everybody, welcome to January. We uh, uh, we, we had a good Christmas. Uh, we spent Christmas with uh, Mama Joe's daughter and her husband, and we had uh, turkey for dinner, and it was delicious, and a good time was had by all. And it is now January, and it's actually a pretty nice day uh, in January. There's no snow. Uh, let's check the weather, though, and see what's on the horizon. So it looks like we are we should expect some snow later tonight, but we should be done doing everything we need to do by that time. And then uh, tomorrow and on the 3rd, um, we're going to get some snow, too. So that's our, our produce selling day. Uh, but uh, the big goal for today, of course, is to sell our silage, because if we look in, at the prices... For silage, this should be the best month to sell. And we have 132,000 and change in liters. And if we look at the price fluctuations, we are now at the top of the, the pricing there. The thing is, is you know, next next year, a year from now, um, we'll have a lot more silage to sell. Because, you know, we're just what in the world? That guy just kind of spawned right outside, right out of our tractor. Uh, yeah, we'll have more, you know, a whole year's worth of silage to sell, and maybe even more than that if uh, we expand our fields. Uh, by the way, in case you were wondering, I did remember to feed my chickens before um, before we slept. I, I bought them actually two bags of grain, uh, so that was taken care of too. In fact, let's go look at the chickens real quick here. So we all, well, yeah, we're we're still working on a a pallet of eggs. It's not quite there yet. And um, if we look at the chickens, they are. Uh, oh, look at that! They've 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 reproduced. Awesome. Okay, so we have 120 baby chicks now. <laughs> That's fantastic. So what we could do if we wanted to. I think we have to do that over here. We could sell those. I'm not going to sell them, but just to show you, um, we could come over here and take our baby chicks, uh, which are the $1 chickens, and we could sell them um, for for a buck a piece, which, of course, again, we're not going to do. Now, if we wanted to be in the chicken meat business, 
we would want to wait until they uh, turned to adult chickens, and then which I guess would take two more in-game months or something like that, and then we could sell them for twenty-five bucks a pop, which would be you know a little more substantial. But it, we're still only talking about about a thousand bucks, and I I don't know this for sure. Maybe you guys responded to my comments in in the last episode, but I haven't seen them yet because I'm doing uh, these two recordings back to back, but. I'll bet you it's we're probably further ahead just to keep this thing full of chickens and then and sell the eggs instead. Um, that's my guess. Of course, if I'm wrong about that, you know, um, I'm sure you guys will let me know that in the comments. Okay, cool. So it is silage selling time, my friends. Silage selling time. So what we're gonna do is hop out of here, and we're gonna go into this little thing of a doodle, and this is the silage we want. So this would seem to imply that we could, we can store other types of bales in here. Really? I don't think so. I think that's just the way the interface looks. And the reason I don't think that is because when we bought this, we had to specifically buy one for silage. Okay. So, yep. Um, oh, okay. Maybe we could store different sized bales in here, though. Okay. All of our size, silage bales are the 1.5 meters. Click OK. And we want all 25 bales. And there they are. And and they're pink too. How about that? <laughs> okay, so they're offloaded as pink bales. Very good. Let's hook up to our trailer here and we're gonna load the rest of the trailer up. And of course, you know, this is gonna take us two trips, which is fine. But we will start loading up the other bales for this first trip. Hook up our lines, hook up our stuff lower that thing down and start scooping these up till we have a full load here I guess I'm assuming we can drive over this without it causing any issues looks like it we kind of don't have a choice I don't really I can't really approach it from the other side because of the the ditch and everything that's there that's funny that it changed them pink I wonder if it I wonder if it just randomly selects a color each time you unload them I don't know Kind of funny. Uh, okay, we're probably gonna have to get to these first before we can get to the outer ones. And one more. Here we go. That's a full load. Okay, so where are we going to take these guys? Let's go to our pricing, silage, and it looks like the biogas plant 1MW. One megawatt is probably what that means. It's going to give us the best price. Okay, let's go. 192. All right, 25,000 on the first load. And then uh, we have another half a load or so to go. So probably going to clear around 35 grand, I think, on this. And that's just for one cutting of silage. So, yeah, this is going to be some pretty good money for us. Let's go get the rest of it. Bring it back on over here and sell her away. Okay, so that is it. Let's take a look and see what our our money is here. So we made forty thousand five hundred sixty dollars off of one cutting of silage bales. So if we can get, what do we get? I don't know if we get three or four in per year. If we get four, you know, then we can expect one hundred sixty grand and change, and then of course one hundred twenty grand and change if we get three uh, again and that's 
assuming we don't even expand our fields in this next year, which we almost certainly will. I mean, it's on the list. There's so many things that are on the list, though. <laughs> uh, that we'll have to see how things go. Uh, very cool, though. Very, very cool. All right, you guys. Well, um, I think that's about all we really have for now. I'm going to sleep until January 3rd and then do the produce yet again. And maybe on the 3rd of January, we will have a full pallet of eggs, too. We'll see. Uh, not expecting any contracts at all. If it's like last year, those didn't start showing up until uh, March. Uh, but in March, I think in March, we'll get some fertilizer contracts, maybe a couple plowing and stuff like that. But then in April, that's when we're going to get the first hay cutting, and that's going to be a good money month for us, contract-wise. And then we'll go from there. Um, things that are on the list, not necessarily in this order. You know, uh, keep expanding fields. I want to get a pickup truck, just because I want to get a pickup truck. <laughs> um, and... I'm probably going to purchase, well, I, I I got that, you know, modded, that John Deere uh, direct drill cedar that I, I'm going to probably buy. And what I, just so you guys know, I have my eye on this field directly behind us, which I believe has canola planted on it. Let's take a look at that. But the canola itself, yeah, canola, uh, and it's 100% fertilized, and it's, it'll have a 98% yield bonus, which is great. Uh, but the canola itself is not harvestable, I think, until July. So what I'm going to probably try and do, um, canola, yeah, we can't harvest it until July or August. So there's not a whole lot of point in me purchasing the field until then. But... Um, the price on this field, let's take a look at that, which is this field right here is $64,488. So we just need to make sure we keep, you know, that much money in reserve by the time July, uh, July, August rolls around. Now I'm, I'm, you know, I've already told you guys this more than once, I think, but I'm eventually planning on buying all of these fields around us. Um, but this one has canola on it. I don't know if the other ones have anything on them right now. So it makes more sense for us to purchase a field that already has a crop on it. Yeah, see this, this is limed, but it needs to be, the stones need to be picked up. This is limed, but it has weeds and stones. So I'm going to, I'm just going to hold out until, you know, we get a crop on those fields before I think about purchasing uh, those. So this is kind of what I have in mind next for our next field. Now, um, and when that happens, of course, we will harvest the canola and that'll give us an opportunity to do a canola harvest, uh, which I don't think is really any different than anything else. It's uh, It doesn't require special equipment as far as I know. And then we're probably going to turn this field into hay too. I mean, it just seems to make the most sense for where we're currently at. Um, so that's the tentative plan. So yeah, pickup truck and that field and, you know, we'll, we'll keep watching the sales. In fact, speaking of which, let's look at the sales. I haven't looked at those yet. What do we got here? This is an auger wagon or a chaser bin. Okay. So that allows you to load silos, I guess. This is a cultivator, a uh, four meter cultivator. It's a pretty inexpensive, but it's also pretty small. This is a header. Oh, this is a sunflower header specifically. Yeah, we're not interested in that. And, oh, look at that. The Anderson trailer is on sale. We bought that at full price. That sucks. <laughs> um, does this have a hitch on the back? Yeah, it uh, it can't, yeah, because of the way that it works. Because I was going to say we could buy two. No, it doesn't have a hitch on the back. Okay. Um. Just out of curiosity, how many... This has 14 months on it. Our trailer has... Um, we could sell... Okay, so we could sell this for 33903 
and it has nine months on it, buy the other one and make a little bit of bank. I mean, we're only talking about the difference of four months here. Am I looking at that right? So 33,903. Oh, yeah, look at that. And this one's, uh, again, like I said, this one is almost in the exact same condition as the other one. It's just a little bit older, but not significantly so. I think we should do that. That seems to make sense to me. Um, yeah. I don't see why not. So, okay. Um, so, yeah, let's do that. We'll bring this around front here. I would, I would wash it except for this trailer never gets dirty. <laughs> it's pristine. I don't know why this one doesn't get dirty. That seems to me like that might be a bit of a, uh, of a bug maybe, but it doesn't. Um, so okay. And so what we're gonna do is disconnect that, disconnect that. Okay, and so we'll roleplay this like we we put this up on Craigslist for sale and somebody immediately snagged it up. And when I say uh, immediately, I mean like immediately. <laughs> Look at that. Okay, we sold that for $33.89. Boom. And then we turned around and went down uh, to... Uh, or called uh, Sam at the shop. I think that's what his name is, Sam the shop owner. <laughs> Can't remember what I called him last time. And uh, he had he had this one in on consignment that somebody wanted to sell. Um, and so we called him up and said, yep, we'll take it. And he said, fine, I'll, I'll deliver it to you here uh, in just a little bit. And so, yeah, we purchased the, uh, the trailer from uh, Sam, the sales guy. And there we go. <laughs> we made a little bit of a profit off of it, man. Isn't that awesome? Okay. So what did we even make off of that? We made about, we made around like 11 grand, didn't we? What a deal. Um, let's see. So we paid 30, uh, 24. No, we didn't make 11 grand. We made about nine ish. No. Okay, so yeah, that's about 30, almost 34, that's 24. We made about $10,000 off that deal. Wow. <laughs> that's awesome, man. That worked really good in our favor. Just don't tell the guy on Craigslist. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. A little bit of wear and tear, but, you know, just like I said, it's only four months older than what we had. Oh, what a deal. Okay. I love it. Um, is there anything else in here we're interested in? No. We already looked at all of these. We're not interested in any of that stuff. Okay, very cool. That that definitely worked out in our favor big time, didn't it? Uh, okay, so I think we're done. <laughs> I can't think of anything else uh, for us to do uh, today. So, yeah, we made uh, $50,000 this month, uh, which isn't bad. And then, or yeah, well, this day of the month, I should say. Uh, we still have more to come. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna sleep until January 3rd. We, we maybe we'll have a full pallet of eggs by then. I don't know if this stacks too high or not, but um, if we do have a full pallet, we'll sell that. We'll have another whole batch of produce to sell, and this is the best month to sell the produce in, so we should get a nice, uh, tidy little sum from that. I'm expecting, what did we make last time? We made around 11, how much did we make again? In December for selling our own product sold products. Yeah, we made ten thousand and we made nine thousand the month before. So we, we'll probably make anywhere from between eleven and twelve thousand dollars on the produce. And then if we end up selling the eggs, well, you know, even more from that. So not not too bad. Um yeah, so guys, I think that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment to share the video. And we will catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.